Okay, to actually get started with your watercolour kit, the very first thing that you want to do is grab a sheet of the watercolour paper that comes in the kit. Grab your brush, any size is fine, and two jars of water. One for warm colours such as red, orange and yellow. One for cool colours such as blue, green and purple. You'll also want your paint set ready to go as well as some paper towel or reusable cloth like I've got here. So I'm going to be using a brush that I've already used in the past but it's exactly the same as what comes in your kit and likewise I'm going to be using my own paints that are very very well loved but are also exactly the same as the ones in your kit. And that's the reason they're in your kit is because I use them myself and I love them. So I'm actually going to have my tray uh, lid here as well because you can mix colours in these sections of the lid if you want to so you can use it as your very own mixing palette. So the very first thing to do to actually get paint on your page is to activate your paint. So I'm going to grab some water from my warm colours jar because I'm going to be activating some reddish pink paint. So I'm grabbing the water on my brush and my brush is lovely and wet and I'm just rubbing the brush in the paint to activate it. So you don't need to worry about ruining your brush or anything like that. You really just want to go in circular motions and get some paint on your brush. There we go. Alright, so I'm not sure if you can see it, but my paint is my brush is loaded up with paint, and that is how you activate your paint. When you finish painting, your paints will dry, um, and then you can put the lids the lid on and they're ready to go next time you're ready to paint. So I'm going to pop a little circle on my page just to show you that colour in action and wow it's so vibrant and lovely. I'm actually going to have a go at activating all of the different paints on the tray um, so I can show you them on the page and create a little bit of a colour chart. So I haven't planned this particularly well because <laughs> I was just going to show you how to activate the paint but I think I'm actually going to show you how to create your very own colour chart uh, to I guess give you a bit of an idea of what paints and colours are in your sets and so that you can easily find them once again so you can refer to your chart and have a look back at your kit and know what colour is found where. So I'm going to grab a pencil and we can get started with that. All right, I have got a pencil and also a little roll of washi tape. And as you can see, I'm doing this on the fly. So I've already got a circle there ready to go on my makeshift color chart. But I'm just going to do some really rough circles here to represent each of the trays of paint. So this represents one and there's four in this particular set. So I'm going to do four circles. Let's see how this goes on the fly. I'm all about keeping it real and today I'm keeping it very real. So these circles are really rough and that is totally fine. And you can just grab any old pencil to draw these circles. And all you're wanting to do is just to represent each tray of paint that you have. Now that pinkish red blob of paint is probably a little bit big. So the rest might be a little smaller as I go. All right, so I'm going to work my, ra my way around the tray clockwise. I'm going to wash my brush, rinse it off and because brown is another warm colour I'm using water from my warm colour jar and I'm getting lots of paint on my brush. I am going to dab the excess off the side of the brush just onto my cloth and paint another circle next to this first one. Grabbing a little bit more paint to dab it in just so it's a bit more vibrant. I'm going to repeat that process, working my way around the tray of paint. Alright, so I'm moving down to my green set or disc and you'll see that mine are so well loved. But this is what yours will look like in a brand new kit, lovely and fresh and untouched. Alright, so I'm going to continue on this process. Work. Oh, I put the wrong ones together. 
I'm going to continue on the process of creating my color chart. Okay, so I've gotten to my yellows and oranges. This particular layer of my paint set is absolutely atrocious. I've clearly painted with this yellow but mixed in some green from who knows where. Um, I've used up almost all of the white that was there and started using it as a mixing tray. But I want to be authentic and just show you, you know, these paints, I've had them for a long time. They last a long time and I have possibly not treated them particularly well. So I'm gonna clean this one out a little bit by adding some water and actually activating the paint and scooping that green paint out using my brush. And it's working fairly well so far. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> so hopefully that will at least remedy the problem uh, temporarily so I can use a bit of the paint nice and fresh and it's happened over here on this yellow too and I, I don't know what to say in my defense uh, I don't know what past Tess was thinking she obviously didn't know she was going to be using these paints on camera on YouTube but anyway I'll show you just so you can see what a fresh set of these paints would look like when they arrive in your hands. So they come with a lovely white, which I actually don't use white that often. I don't know why I used it so much here. I only really use it to mix up a pastel kind of color, but that's that's a whole other video. You get a really lovely cool yellow, a warm yellow, a couple of light brown colors, and a really vibrant orange. Um, again, I don't wanna mess with this brand new set because it's going to be sent to one of you so I'm not going to use that I'm just going to do my best and show you how to finish off this color chart with my own very messy paints and yeah past test what was she thinking I don't know I often I often ask myself that but anyway there we go that still shows us the colors a warm yellow a cool yellow I'm going to skip the white because there's none there um, and he, it wouldn't have shown up anyway. Some really vibrant orange. Don't know about you, but that makes me think of a vitamin C tablet, one of those chewable vitamin C tablets. Anyway, and I think these two colors are pretty similar. And there you go. You've got your own mini chart your own mini color chart that you can refer to so that you know where to find each color in your set of paints. And another thing that you can do is grab a marker or something like that, perhaps a, a chalk pen marker that will show up on black um, to number these discs. So you could put a one, okay, you wouldn't put a one in the middle of that one because we started with a red, you would put a one in the red one. Uh, two in this one and so on and number them accordingly on your chart just so you can pick it up and think oh yeah that is where the cool yellow lives that's where the warm yellow lives that's where this certain blue lives and that certain blue lives so it can be really helpful um, so that you can find your way around the kit and as you can see your kit will last 
forever. Maybe not forever, forever, but a really long time. And I can tell you I've painted with these exact paints countless times and even taken them to my workshops and shared them with folks there and that sort of thing. They honestly just are incredibly robust. They last a long time and they're amazing. As you can see, they're super vibrant and beautiful and easy to use. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're interested in a kit, obviously they're available on my website and if you've got any questions, you can always ask me directly as well.